Ash has also won the Swiss Open and the side Modi this year. So, as you say, bang in form. Has been up as high as two in the world, Peter Sinner. That was back in 2017. And of course, she was part of the India squad that won this uh, mixed team event on the Gold Coast four years ago. 37 wins this year for Sindhu. It's been a really good year. She's been very busy and 12 losses as well. So she's, you know, she's played 49 matches. Really competitive. One of the lovely things about her though, she's such a lovely girl. So, so hospitable, so warm to everybody. Gives everybody time off the court. Lovely person. And her opponent, Yeo Jimin of Singapore, who's 23 years of age, so four years Sindhu's junior. Ranked 19 in the world, she has been uh, a little higher than that previously. Former world junior number one, actually. Uh, Yeo, having started playing the game at just seven years of age. And she was going really well in the Indian Open back in uh, January of this year. Got to the quarter-final and then sadly tested positive for COVID and had to withdraw which must have been incredibly frustrating for her. And she got to the final of the Hilo Open last year as well. I think you did that event. That's right. Yeah, I did. I called that. She's a very exciting player to watch as we take a look at our Malaysian umpire. Chen Lei Lau is in the umpire's chair and Alan Crow of Great Britain is the service judge. Yeah, so for Yuzhamin as well, it was another second quarter final showing in the career masters in April as well of, of this season. So it's been a good solid season. She's still ranked top 20, the Singaporean, has been as high as 16 in the world in April. So, you know, there's not that much between them in terms of rankings, just the 12 spots with Sindhu a little higher at seven in the world. So it should be very competitive. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Singapore, represented by Yo Jiami. And on my left, India, represented by Pusala Ventaka Sindhu. Singapore to serve, love or play. Well, the echo Paul's comments, it should be competitive. And of course, the, the men's singles coming up features uh, the world champion, Lu Kian Yu for Singapore. So this tie potentially could turn around in a hurry. Hot. One love. mentioned they've just played once before which uh, Sindhu won back in 2019 but fair to say he is now a much better player than she was then so I'm not sure what how much relevance that has Well, it's just fantastic play from Sindhu. That's running her opponent all over the court. Three, one. This might be a, a tiring match for Yoshi Min. No way she could get to that. Five, 
Well, off to a bit of a flyer here. The Indian, good judgment that. Didn't miss the line by much. That was an easier leave. Six, one. Real statement of intent so far from the former world champion. Oh, that's better. That should give the Singaporean a little bit of confidence. That was really delicately played. Two, six. And again. Three, six. Well, maybe she had a few nerves the start of this match, but she looks to have settled now. And uh, the odd error from Cinder will certainly not hinder her cause either. That's a wonderful cross snap from PV Sindhu. Very alert from the start. Lovely. Perfectly weighted. Yeah, that replay showed you just a subtle, really effective turn of the wrist. She played the shot cross court. Eight, four. Maybe quite, hasn't quite come to terms with uh, the drift out there at the moment. Here's Hsu Min. Gone long three or four times already. You'd imagine it would take a little while to settle out here. It's such a vast stadium, isn't it? Four and a half thousand fans courtside, and it's just got a huge feel to it, this arena. Oh, that's great deception from the Indian, though. Really nice touch. He's so nodding, acknowledging Nine. just how nice this was. Lovely wrong foot as well. Yojimin going the other way. She liked that one. On the line. She's a talented player. You mentioned the high low open last season in Germany, the Super 500 event. She lost to Busanen Ongban Rumfan. The tie did uh, Yojimin back then. It was uh, 10 and 14. She came runner up, but she came down with a really bad cold like the day before the final and was a little bit subpar, to be honest. But she's a former quarter finalist at the World Champs in 2019, is Yojimin. But of course, she's up against the world champion of that year. So a five-point advantage as they go to the chair with the mid-game interval for PV Sindhu. Eleven six play.
Oh, how about that? How about that for starters after the interval? Service over 7 11. She's pretty sprightly, always moved well, but that was just precisely struck, wasn't it? Look where she lands that. Couldn't have placed the shuttle any better than that. Fantastic footwork as well. Showed that replay. Oh. Well, this is what we want. We want both of them playing well at the same time. Yeah, there's a forehand cross block there from the Indian from the top draw, wasn't it? But you do sense that the Singaporean now, Yojo Min, starting to settle. Just wide, good lead from Sindhu. A very competitive rally. Yojamin is getting better and better though. She has now minimized those unforced errors that we saw at the very start of the match. Still don't think she's got to grips with the drift though, Paul. That's several that she's missed. She's missed several long and several on the same side on that and Sindhu's forehand side. Blistering pace from the Indian. See it time and again. If you hit it into a strike zone there, that spells trouble. With a capital T because she is absolutely deadly from that kind of range. And again wide. You look at the scoreline, you'd think, yeah, Sindhu would be all over you, but it hasn't quite been like that because the Singaporeans produced some wonderful winners, but it's the error count that's a problem. No mistake with that. So it's over 8.15. Well, that's what happens when you defend your court well. It sort of makes your opponent feel like it's a bit of a postage stamp to hit to. And there you could see that Yojamin was just a little greedy, ran out of court here. Sindhu doing a good job with the retrieving. You can almost feel the frustration 18, oozing out of Yoji Min, can't you? Because she knows she can play so much better than this. And very rare that her error count is as high as this. OK, she's playing one of the best players in the world, but even so, she herself is in the top 20. It's a lovely little clip down from Sindhu, though, wasn't it? Just dropped like a stone obediently. High-class performance from the Indian so far. Look at this, spreading the court beautifully. Well, another supremely delicate touch, and it brings the Indian 12 game points. Nine twenty. 
Well, I guess if you're going to go off the boil, best to do it when you've got 12 game points. Still nine remaining. That's good, and that's game. 21 points to 11. I don't think too much of a surprise that Sindhu has taken it, but the margin, I have to say, maybe a little bit uh, surprising to most. Yeah, well said, Ian. Fair comment. Yeah, I think they were just uh, the two, the unforced errors at the beginning of the match from her opponent were just uh, not quite what Yojamin wanted. So, Sindhu, a game to the good. I think they've spotted us. <laughs> Great to see so many youngsters in. Second of course, it is the summer holidays. But it doesn't matter what Number age you are, everyone loves a camera. <laughs> Waving at it is compulsory. So, PV Sindhu, having taken the opening game, looking to finish this match in double quick time and give her country a two-love advantage in the time. And that's a pretty good start. And the thing is as well, Yojimin just has to stabilise and get her speed into play because Sindhu is now relaxed and you imagine with that as a start of game two is starting to find more expansive parts of her game. World number seven, former world number two looking very imposing at the top of your picture now. Pot. Two, love. Quizzical looks all round, but it's Sindhu's point. And that's good, solid play from Yojamin there. Staying in the point nicely, moving well, so asking that extra question one, because two. Sindhu was driving the point along nicely. So much rangy power up there. Vicious strike. Redlining through that. And that's a real statement of intent. Again, if you clear or lift, it's got to be towards that back line. Four. 
She looks yeah. really concentrated, supremely focused. And there's hardly been an unforced error so far from Sindhu's racket. And that was a great example of some very subtle drift from left to right, you know, Five, minimal. One. But uh, and it's not been constant here on this court, but on that occasion you could just see it. But Sindhu has dealt with it so much better than her opponent. She, I still don't think she's got to grips with this at all, even Seven though zero. she gets a point back there. Two, five. A little bit of good fortune. Every time you step on court, though, with Sindhu, PV Sindhu, th th there's that intimidation factor, isn't there? You know, you know, you can't go up high too often because you're just going to get scorched. She's just toying with her at times here. Yeah, she kept the pressure up really well and it was sustained, wasn't it, from the Indian who now is gliding around really well, moving well, and that's a big feature, particularly in the Indian game. It's a given for Yoji. I mean, she, she carries herself so quickly, every, everything that she does, but for Sindhu, when she's moving as efficiently as this, it spells trouble. Looked like that one was going wide. But still a lot of traffic from the Singaporean is going down the right side of the court, Seven which at times leaves you head scratching. Three, seven. Yeah, they haven't had too much to cheer. The rest of that Singaporean squad court side. Enjoyed that rally though. deception there but that unforced error was uh, welcome for the Singaporean at this stage on the scoreboard must win game for her Yo Jimin. so Titi isn't it every time she gets a little bit of momentum she gives a point back with a, a bit of a sloppy unforced error like that it's a really good point you make actually because in game one Sindhu had managed to engineer six consecutive points her opponent just the three and Yoja mean this game, three, Sindhu three in a row. So Sindhu's yet to break away, but it's sort of touch and go, isn't it? And they're trying to play perhaps that little bit too tight to lines and net. Well, the Indians Nine, with plentiful five. support all around this vast show Ooh. court here in NEC Hall 5. And uh, Sindhu responding obediently. A few things the Indian fans love. Virat Kohli batting. TV Sindhu playing like this. <laughs> what was that? surprised because I don't think there would be Ten, as much of a golfing five. class as as his looks at the moment I mean you know there may still be a you know, comeback but it's looking increasingly unlikely 
Yeah, the former world number two is really squeezing now. Lovely straight net shot in that previous rally. I mean, that was a proactive miss, wasn't it? You know, yes, it will go down as unforced from the Indian, but she was trying to be, you know, really move the Singaporean around a lot. I think she's been incredibly creative so far in this match, Sindhu. I mean, we've only been playing for well, it's way less than half an hour, and she's a game up and 11 6 up at the interval. And it looks, well, you never say mission impossible, but it looks a massive ask for the Singaporean to come back from here. A little sort of synopsis of this so far is that the Singaporean unable to dent the defences of the Indian, but the Indian is just piercing the Singaporean defences on a regular basis. That's gone as well, and she's still playing that right side for me. That little bit too much. Twelve, six. Well, she did the hard bit and then missed what for her was a relatively simple put away. Yeah, it's a Cobra-like kill, wasn't it, of the net, but just sort of rushed herself in doing so, ran out of court. It must be so easy to do that. On the line. <laughs> I don't think she quite meant it to be that tight. Evie Sindhu, a hand of apology offered here. It's a little bit of a shank you very much. Perhaps it's just written in the stars for her to win this match. Oh, good pace and great follow-up as well. Scampered up to that in the blink of an eye, did Yojamin. You see a lot of those Perry the mascot hats around. I was just looking at that, yeah. Well, I have to get one of those. If you are just wondering about that mascot, Perry is a multicolored patchwork bull, and it's basically a, a nod to Birmingham's Bull Ring Shopping Centre and also the Perry Bar area near Birmingham where the athletics is going to be held. So At the moment, it's all going Sindhu's way. Yeah, that scoreboard pressure there for Yoji. I mean, she's just being strangled by the scoreboard a little here. Look, she feels she has to play that little bit too tight and the errors come. It's a turnaround from the Lions judge. He initially had his hands down and then 16, spread his arms as if to say just long. And no challenge from you. She really upped the pace there as well. You could see that it was palpable. Yeah, and I think it was the right call as well. Ah, credit to the Singaporean. She's redlining now. She's up to her intensity, giving her all. 
and has to. Nine, She's got to get back 16. on terms quickly. It's do or die right now for her. Yeah, absolutely nothing to lose at this stage. May as well go for it. Take risks, take chances, try and put Cindy under pressure. You win three or four points in a row, you never know. A bad so shot from Yo, but 17, the shot that Sindhu nine. played was near perfection. And it's been a frustrating experience for the Singaporean on the end of a PV Sindhu barrage of winners. Deception, power. Yeah, she's been bold and insistent today. She's really backed herself, PV Sindhu. Another solid 18, performance from her. Nine. Looking very, very good. Tell you what, she's going to take some stopping next week as well in the individual women's singles event. She'll be seeded uh, one in that. going to challenge it. I'm not Singapore sure with too much hope of success. Yeah, I mean, I think it was close, but I, I'm with you. I think it might have just been slightly wide. But then, you know, at this stage at the scoreline, 18-9, you've got to pull the trigger, haven't you? She's found the edge. Terrific. Great challenge. Well done. Yeah. Hanging by a thread still, but it's Correction. still redeemable. It fooled me there. I thought that was wide of the line but it was bang on the line pretty much Ten, almost certainly won't have 18. a bearing on the result here but Play. gets her a point closer to the former world champion <laughs> little bark of delight from Sindhu is determined now 19. to get in her opponent's face and get across the line. It's a great view from there, isn't it? Behind the umpire's chair. Nice and tight with the straight net shot from so Yojamin. So Excellent response, but is it too little too late? 19. Well done. Super cross net. So a couple of back-to-back -back points 12, from the top 19. draw from Yojamin. She looks still-eyed and focused. That was superb. And that error brings up eight match points for PD Sindhu. Exactly the same score as in the first match, the men's doubles, 21-11, 21-12. A dominant display from PV Sindhu, and it puts India into a two-love lead in the tie. They just need one more victory from one of the three remaining matches to go through to face Malaysia in tomorrow's final. Indian delight, superb performance, wasn't it? She controlled her undulations far more than her opponent. There was just less fluctuation. She was just that little bit more solid and dependable throughout PV Sindhu. Very dictatorial. She'll be pleased with that. Feel utter relief because there's more expectation on her as the world number seven to come through. And she delivered on the day commendably. Terrific effort. She's all smiles now and rightly so. Great win.
So there we are, the Indian flag flying high. Let's take a look at how she did it. Yeah, that was a good lead. So India then head out to a two-love lead in the tie. And as we take a look at the numbers, you can see in a match that lasted...